The guy scares me, but it's gonna be awesome. David, welcome, and thank you very much for joining us here today. I'd like to share with you now one of my favorite innovations. This year alone, it sold half a billion dollars. So what is this billion dollar innovation that's been able to sustain 80 years? It's Kraft Dinner. At the end of the 1920s, they had figured out how to suck all the water out of cheddar cheese and make the world's first powdered cheddar cheese. Nobody was interested in this. It didn't change until the early 30s when a salesperson came to St. Louis, Missouri. He walked back into the pasta aisle, took his packet of cheese, placed it on the macaroni, and here comes the magic innovation. He rubber banded the packet of cheese to the macaroni and put it on the table, and Kraft Dinner was born. What was the secret to this billion dollar innovation? It's as simple as just making connections. I bet your company hires people that think like your people do. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and just said a few words and they immediately get it and start responding? You've got the same picture as they do. This great ability of our minds is our biggest challenge because what if that picture's not correct? Now imagine you were this company and you wanted to make your sandwich process faster. Who would you ask for ideas? Well, I'm not looking at the slides, but I tell you the lettuce goes on first, the pickles go on last, and there's a special secret shaker that has both salt and pepper, so they don't have to use them both. I've seen it before. How do you get somebody in to see this entirely different solution? What Rick realized is he can't go to the customers, he can't go to the clients. He needed to go to somebody who was totally out of the sandwich world, but could understand this idea of speed and efficiency. And so what Rick did at his next innovation session is he brought in these people. Who else would know about accuracy and speed than a Formula One pit crew. Every decade for the past 50 years, the number one technology has become obsolete. I don't know if you recognize that plane. That's the world's largest airplane, the Airbus A380. It was first delivered in 2008, and by 2014, it had finally risen above the number of planes per year that they needed to break even, which was 20. Fast forward just four years from that point of breaking even. In 2017, they dropped down to 15 planes. Last year, 12 planes. This year, six planes. And if Emirates Airlines does not pen a deal with Airbus, the A380 is gone, obsoleted in one decade. I say that companies need two COOs, a chief operating officer and a chief obsolescence officer. You all laugh, it sounds ridiculous, but why is it ridiculous? Why would it be ridiculous for you to be looking at a way to obsolete your product? Isn't that exactly what every one of your competitors are doing? You need to have this vision. You need something pushing you ahead to see where the world's gonna go so that you're the one who's leading the disruption. You're coming up with the products that changes dramatically how we see the world. How many of you recognize this vacuum cleaner? So this is a Dyson vacuum cleaner. It doesn't vacuum better. What it does is it makes vacuuming better. And if you look at the Dyson, they're all about the person who's using them. They shift their perspective from the product to people. Innovation isn't some magical process. It's about thinking a little differently and about asking different questions.